I care for well. We've always been used to quarantine. Okay, so nothing new, guys. Feet, hands. We did hands inside there. Here at Care for Wild, it's all hands on deck. Sophia, bring my lawn, bring my lawn, so that we stay in our groups, guys. Even something that seems easy is still challenging when dealing with rhinos. These rhinos may seem small, but they each weigh between 300 and 500 kilograms, and one wrong move could be a crushed foot or a broken leg. And trying to get these orphan rhinos onto a scale to weigh them is more challenging than it seems. It's the first time with our new shoot or crush uh, that we could weigh all the babies. And for us it's so important to get all the weights because now we're going to go back and see that they gain what's going on with them. Um, three, eight, seven. Hmm. Maya? Uh, five, six, nine. We found that the defecation can weigh up to four kilos. See, maybe someone can went to the toilet before and then after they lost four kilos? Four kilograms, yeah. just like that. Yeah, alrighty. Okay. Not all of the orphan rhinos are in large enclosures and bomas. Some have already been released back into the wild. And today, the rhino ambulance is going to go out and do some rhino checkups. This is the old Land Cruiser, beautiful vehicle that we rigged for a rhino ambulance. And it's quite important to, to stay to a routine and stay the same vehicle and the same people. And that makes that uh, urgency or skittishness or so on not necessarily go away because if it's in another vehicle they can still run away from the other vehicle this is just a health check mamas with the paramedics and dishing out cookies and nice stuff it's annie river and tyson mm. how does she look like she's not too bad just around the one teeth the chewing. Michael. He's, he Michael. lost his teeth. He lost it a while. What now? Why is he so under the weather, love? Rhinos need just the right amount of ticks on their bodies to build up a good immune system. But too many ticks can have a negative impact. So the rhino ambulance team applies a special gel to manage the number of ticks on each rhino. When an animal's condition is down, we found that they lie lying down more, they have a bit of a fever. And then we found a lot of ticks climbing on them. We will most probably start checking temperatures on her as well. And if it's higher than uh, 39, we will start with treatment. Um, we call this a rhino think tank. <laughs> Temperatures 36.9. That's good. Uh, so she's definitely not running a fever, and that's good news for us. Excellent. <laughs> it's one of those it's rotating fans. <laughs> Very sophisticated, really. <laughs> oh no, ambulance really? does have aircon. The Please. newest technology. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the rhino ambulance team has one more stop to make for today, and that's to have a mud bath with some rhinos. Remember, if we do health checks, we have to do it thoroughly. Going 
to get mud into these hard to reach spots for the animals or for the rhinos really help them with the the ticks and the infestation of the ticks you know so they can't necessarily go and get mud everywhere so if they're full of mud uh, the ticks can't also not climb on them we love just every single small spot of the rhino